everybody welcome back to my channel happy monday i'm so glad you're able to join me today i am back again for my mindfulness tip of the week i know i typically share a little card with you guys um, but today but today i wanted to talk about emotions specifically and the reason for bringing that up is that you know growing up and throughout my whole life um, i've always been classified as someone who's you know emotional and sensitive and not necessarily in a great way, you know, people generally associate, you know, being emotional and being sensitive in a bad way. And I wanted to clarify that, you know, having emotions and feeling emotions is um, completely valid and totally okay. So I wanted to, you know, for all those people out there who feel like, you know, they're classified as emotional or too sensitive that, you know what, that's completely normal. And all of us human beings, we're human beings, we feel all these feelings and all these thoughts and it's okay to be emotional, you know, to process our feelings and to talk about them. So I think that's why I wanted to bring it up today. Um, I also want to flag that, you know, there's certain emotions that people associate with it being negative. For example, feeling irritated, feeling angry, um, getting annoyed and all that stuff as bad emotions and I don't think that should be seen as a bad way you know we're all entitled to our, all of our different emotions but it's how we act on our emotions that matter so it's okay you know to feel frustrated to feel angry um, to feel irritated but it's how you act on it um, that matters and I think it's whether it's you know an emotion a positive emotion for example like feeling happy or a more you know deeper emotion like such as feeling angry I think it's important to understand the root causes of those emotions and really get, get to know yourself a little bit better and ask yourself the hard questions like why do I feel a certain way why do I feel like this is it because of x or is it because of y because I think when you start to analyze the root causes of your emotions it helps you you know manage your emotions better and also to get your to get to know yourself a little bit better um, so I think that, you know, being emotional and being able to share and acknowledge those emotions are important, um, as well as I always uh, think that journaling is super important too. So when a certain emotion comes up, I definitely think you should write it down and analyze why you feel it a certain way and sort of like the mechanisms, you know, to help you get through it if it's a more deeper emotion. Um, and I think that being emotional and having an emotional intelligence is highly important too um, in you know our, our working lives and our professional lives as well as in our personal lives. You know, I think that having emotions and being empathetic and sympathetic allows you to get to know people better and to put yourself in other people's shoes, which I find is so important um, because you know we often you know think of ourselves um, first, and and it's hard. And it's, and it's actually a great thing to do, you know, to put yourself in someone else's shoes and, and understand where they're coming from and why they feel a certain way. Um, so I think that's another positive um, about emotions. But generally speaking, I do think that it's important to acknowledge every emotion that comes up, acknowledge it, you know, process it um, and see why you feel a certain way. And that way you can get to know you know, as I mentioned before, um, yourself a little bit better. And for those deeper emotions, I think it's important to dig deep, um, you know, into why you feel a certain way. Was it based on a past experience? Was it based on your childhood, um, et cetera, and so on? Because I think that um, it's important to acknowledge and never suppress. You know, I've gone, I've gone through uh, growing up sometimes where I used to suppress my emotion. Um, and I don't fully show it to the certain extent because I was worried about being judged or criticized for it. And in the long run, it harmed me in the end because I had all these emotions bottled up, which I never sort of like fully let out and stuff. So now um, I'm a believer in always sharing your emotions, you know, whether that's something that, you know, you're scared of sharing or you hold back on sharing. I always learned that the hard way that, you know, you will always feel better sharing how you feel and being your authentic self, you know, than having to hide everything that you feel. Um, so I just wanted to point that out there too. And there's no emotion um, that, you know, is classified, at least in my world, classified as negative. You're entitled to how you feel. And it's important to express those opinions, express those feelings um, and talk about them, right? I think we don't talk about emotions enough in our daily lives. 
Um, and I think that being emotional is, is flagged as like a negative thing, but I personally think it is something to embrace. Um, it also gives you strength, right? And resiliency, you know, to tackle those hard emotions, right? Like if you're feeling angry and you're feeling irritated, right? Really dig deep on why that's the case and really understand yourself better and how to tackle those emotions. It doesn't make you a weak person. I, I've been told in the past that, you know, when you cry, or when you're a certain way and when you're being emotional, it makes you weaker. When in fact, I think it makes you stronger and tougher that you're able to, you know, acknowledge that you have those emotions and being able to work with it um, in everyday life. So, you know, kudos um, to those of you, you know, who tackle those tough emotions, because I do think it is worth uh, complimenting for, because it's not always easy, you know, coming from an emotional person, it's hard to explain it to others who may not feel the same way as you but I think that um, even learning to explain it to someone else you know articulating those thoughts you know gives you communication skills right to that you're working on and I think that you know even though the person may not understand how you feel I think it's important to know how to articulate those feelings right whether that's to your family member or to your partner um, and, or to your friends you know whoever it is may be I think it's important to be able to explain um, because through explaining you're actually processing it yourself um, which in turn uh, benefits you as well um, so yeah I guess I just wanted to talk about um, emotions briefly and that I encourage you guys to continue to express how you feel there's nothing wrong with feeling a certain way you know as long as you know you it depends on how you act on it so that part is like you know a different territory but I want to say that it's valid um, however you feel is valid and you're recognized and you're heard and you're seen um, and yeah and I think that you know, I feel like being having being emotional and being sensitive um, is a great thing. You know, it keeps you in tune with your environment and all of that. And so they're all great things. So I just wanted to pop on here and just sort of do my spiel on emotions um, because I'm a big believer um, in feeling emotions. Um, although I may not come across um, through video, I am um, quite emotional um, and I embrace that part of myself. And I encourage you guys um, to do the same. Also, I tried cutting my hair just for fun on the weekend, my bangs. I just wanted to like show those off because um, I am not actually sure how I feel about them because um, I usually like part them to the side, but I just thought I like part them like kind of like in the middle this time around. Um, and maybe one day I'll just cut my hair live for you guys, um, though it might be a little bit embarrassing, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say happy Monday and I hope you guys have a great week ahead and I would love to hear from you below on what you feel about emotions, how do you handle emotions and all of that. So have a great week and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!